anything like this. I'm so shocked. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi guys, so we are going to Japan to try three different sushi restaurants from cheap to expensive. Yeah, and obviously you guys can tell that this video is very much inspired by BuzzFeed's yeah. Worth It series. Mm. One of the restaurants we tried was even in BuzzFeed's videos, so watch till the end to see what we think yes. about their recommendation. So let's get on to the video. So we're on our first stop, which is Sushi no Musashi. Yeah, Sushi no Musashi. In, in Kyoto Station, and we've been here two years ago, and we just definitely had to come back. Excuse me while I take an uni. <laughs> well, this is actually a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Unlike typical conveyor belt sushi places, the sushi here is actually prepared by sushi chefs instead of actual machines. But yet you can still taste high quality sushi at a reasonable price. Look at all of this sushi. This is the one that I've been waiting for. This is Otoro, which is as fat as you can go in terms of tuna. Just want to devour everything right now. Wow, this is a beauty tutorial. <laughs> This is the fatty part, which is the tummy, the belly of the fish. I'm so jealous. Mm, for $4. $4. That's crazy. That is worth it. So a little tip. Don't only take the sushi from the conveyor belt. I just ordered these otoro from the chef himself and they gave us better pieces. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Stacks, stacks, stacks. stacks. But cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> so we just got done with our dinner and now we're just in another location, casually eating an ice cream. My comments about it, I would give it a three out of five just as an overall sushi because I feel like I can get that quality in Jakarta and I didn't come all the way to Japan to get sushi that I can get in Jakarta. But with that being said, with the same quality in Jakarta, it would be way more expensive. To me, it was more about consistency because even though we had multiple pieces of the same item, but each time it was slightly different in taste. So that was a bit of an issue right there. But overall, it was a really good meal. Good sushi at a reasonable price. Good morning, guys. So today, we're off to find our mid-tier sushi restaurant to review. And basically, all we're gonna do is just go with our gut feeling. So we're gonna go through the alleys and see who has the most cute, who has the most legit looking chefs, and then we'll just choose one. Hopefully, we'll get a... Yeah, hopefully, we'll get a really... Bullseye. So we're in Tsukiji Fish Market right now, which is basically the market where almost all of Japan gets their fish supply, and even internationally, um, it all comes from here, so that means everything here is super fresh. And it's a really good place to really try a variety of seafood in one location. And one thing we've learned from previous experiences is that just because it's a fish market, it's not super cheap. So you still have to put price in consideration. So you can either go for a really cheap but good, but usually those have really long queues. If it's mid-tier like what we're trying today, no queue at all but still very good. I've never had anything like this. I'm so shocked. It tastes so different than anything I've ever tried. The taste of freshness is indescribable. I'm amazed. And the fattiness is not the anak type, you know? Wow, wow, wow. So right now we're standing right in front of the alley where we entered randomly and that's where the sushi uh, restaurant that we had was. We saw a few people queuing so we figured it would be good. It turns out you guys saw the footage. It was amazing. You guys definitely have to try it. It was a little steep, spent about $50 per person. Yeah. But it was just amazing. 
For those who want to know exactly what to eat at this place, we highly recommend the Otoro. The best Otoro we've ever had wow. hands down. Not everything was great, I would say. The uni is not great. Overall, I would give this place a 5 out of 5. And remember, we have really high standards for sashimi since we have I mean, eaten through Japan. Basically. I would give it like a 4.8 out of five it's really really close hi guys so we are here for our last stop of our sushi restaurant we're going to this restaurant called ginza kube <laughs> we saw this restaurant in a video from buzzfeed um barack obama has been here yeah barack obama and many past u.s presidents has been here as well so we are gonna have a omakase picky eaters not recommended Okay. It's so creamy. Now this is Uni, one of our favorites. There was a pump, it wasn't dead fully. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Mine is cut. Ah! Mine is raw. Hey, babe. <laughs> is that flavorful or what? It smells like butter. Arigato. For the last dish, we have tomato. It's super soft and very dense, almost like cheesecake type of texture. Thank you! <laughs> is the correct expression. Uh, we just got out of Cuba. Let's do our overall recap of the place. First up, I really like the shrimp. The shrimp was really good and creamy. Yeah, amazing, the best shrimp uh, ever Definitely had. the best single uh, sushi that we had in that whole meal. For me, it was more about the whole experience. Watching his mastery like in progress is like, wow. Like it was like a show to me. I would say for most of the sushis that we were served, I liked almost all of them, 90% of them. Some of them were more of a personal preference kind of thing. Yeah. All right, so we have come to the conclusion of our video, which is the drum roll. I got coins. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we gonna give our sushi crumb to? Three, two, two one. Sukiji Tadaro that was the most worth it in my opinion. I'll say that that place has really specific awesome pieces like yeah. the Atara. The Atara was amazing, amazing, amazing. And the uni was meh, like Cubase uni was yeah. better. So as an overall Cubase whole, every single piece was a better yeah. than the place that we chose. But put in mind that Cubase is $250 per person, whereas Tsukiji is only $50 per person. So that is the end of our Japan Sushi Adventure. If you guys want more of this stuff, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because we do post every week. Even yes. though we, we try. We try. <laughs> so don't forget to click subscribe and the bell notification next to it. Watch the rest of the videos that we posted on Japan in our channel. And also on my personal channel, Tita Tara. <laughs> Plug. See you guys in the next video next week. Bye. I fine. Oh get do the again. Oh. What? Do the kiss. <laughs> what kiss? You said high five. Hold up.